Hello everyone, my name is Desala, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. And if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today I'll be talking about the things that I wish I knew before I started a fashion design career. Are before I um, started a fashion business as well. So I'm an African inspired race wear fashion designer and I've been in business a little over nine years and I'm based here in Lagos, Nigeria. And so um, I started my business nine years ago and there are certain things that I wish I wish I knew and um, I just wanted to share some of them and um, just let you know that you know what's being a fashion designer in Nigeria is all about. And so my experiences are based on what I know and what I've learned about being in the fashion industry in Nigeria. Being a fashion designer here um, is not as fancy as people think it is. It's, it's um, when people talk about um, being a fashion designer, going into the fashion industry, um, running a fashion business, people always tend to think of a glam. That's the first thing that comes into people's mind. All the flashy, 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 flashy. There's so much more that goes into into um, running a fashion business, being a fashion designer. There's so much more than all the glam that people think. When I first started, I didn't start the business to put up the glam. I started the business because I thought it was a career path that I could sustain and I thought it was something that I knew that even in the long run I would enjoy doing which in the long run I am enjoy I still enjoy you know being a fashion designer and um, I have no regrets over my choices because I've learned that you know I am definitely definitely a very creative person and being a fashion designer is an opportunity for me to um, express myself considering the fact that I also like fashion as well I like to dress up I like to do all those things and I really 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 enjoy it but there's so much more that goes into being a fashion designer wearing a fashion business than all the glamour that people you know tend to see another thing is um it takes a lot of hard work and determination you know fashion design career fashion business it takes a lot of hard work you know when people think about being a fashion designer you come into the into the into the business into the industry and you know you just feel like yeah i i know this i know that i know this i know that you know that has that that is of a huge benefit to the career or to the business and you just feel like you know i don't really need to do much you know it's just going to go you know the way I want it to go. It takes a lot of hard work, a whole, whole, whole lot of work, and a lot of determination as well. Fashion, fashion involves a lot of determination. Fashion is a very, 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 very competitive industry, and you really, 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 really need to work, work very hard, work very hard to, um, to stand out, work very hard to run the business. If you're in a business, which I most likely think you will be running as a business work very very hard in whatever line of fashion business that you know you you decide to go into you need to work very hard and um i don't know i can't start saying things that you need to do and work very hard but basically you just need to work very hard and you need to be determined because the thing is that you're going to come along some bumps in the road and it's enough to discourage you if you're not a very strong person so you need to be encouraged most of the time and you need to keep on encouraging yourself and be determined that you know you want to make it in this industry and you definitely will with hard work and determination you're definitely unstoppable so the next thing is um passion is not enough to see you through so like i said at the beginning of my video you know i'm a very creative person i'm very good with my hands i'm very good with my imagination and um I, I, I like fashion, I like to dress up, um, I consider myself a very stylish person, my style is very simplistic but very 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 
elegant and very very stylish so um i would not say because of those three things you know is enough to scale me through and see me through you know my career there's so much more passion is not enough you know you may say oh i i love fashion i'm passionate about passion i'm, I'm passionate about fashion i'm this 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 passion is not enough as in just like i said there's so much more passion will see you through i have a video talking about passion is not enough in the previous videos you can go and have a look at it but yes fashion is fashion is not enough there's so 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 much more because when you say oh i have a passion for styling i have a passion for creativity i have a passion for um colors i have a passion for this this that 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 as in <laughs> you meet some shockers as in some things will just come some things will happen and some things really 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 shock you and you know you need to have that thing to just keep you going to just really 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 keep you going being in business for almost 10 years i won't say i've not had my fair share of challenges in the business i've had times when i felt like throwing them in the, the towel if passion is not enough because you definitely meet bumps in the road and that can discourage you literally to just need to just look for how to just weather the storm i've been in the business for almost 10 years and i've had my own fair share of challenges and you know i've had to look beyond my passion and just keep it going when you've been at something for at least five years if something happens you can't just suddenly just throw in the towel like that you need to keep learning you know every single day you keep you need to keep learning you need to keep learning every aspect of the business you keep, you keep learning every single day literally as in and you need to be prepared you need to be open to learn learn from everybody and anybody there's some people that you may think they're not even on your level they're not even up to you you'll be surprised what you can learn from them you need to be open to learning because why do i say you need to be open to learning fashion evolves um businesses evolve life evolves things change things improve things develop so you need to be on top of it there are newer ways of doing things, there are easier ways of doing things, things are gonna come up, things are gonna happen. You need to learn every single day, every, every, every single day. You need to be willing to learn. You know, when I was in school, I, I always looked forward to the day I would stop going to school. I never knew that, you know, I would continue learning, learning. I guess that has to do with ignorance and age, actually, when I was young, so, but yeah. You need to keep on learning, you need to keep on improving yourself if you know, you're going to be successful in this career path that you have chosen as a fashion designer. Another thing is you need to learn to develop your business skills. Like I said earlier, fashion is not enough. So you need to learn to develop your business skills because you, you are most likely, if you're, even if you're trying, if you're trying to be a fashion designer, you can't just be a fashion designer and sit down in your house. You're going to monetize it. Even if you're in fashion school and learning how to become fashion designer, one day, one day, you're going to monetize it. And when you monetize it, you need business skills. Passion is not enough. Passion can't take you through. Honestly, even if you're the best cutter, you're the best sewer, you're the best um, illustrator, you're the best this, 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 you're the best at that, it's inevitable. You have to learn business skills. Either you go and learn it from somewhere, or you learn it from somebody or you shadow somebody you need to learn business skills business skills that came to me <laughs> as a shocker but i thank god because i have a corporate background and i worked in a financial institution before i started my business i was able to manage but it, <laughs> it came to me just like that so yes um I, I learned my business skills, I learned on my own, 
and along the line as well and do some little 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 things to improve it i couldn't go and do it full time because i do i didn't have time i have to run the business i'm a mother i'm a wife you know i didn't really have that luxury of time but i had to go and learn some little little things here and there basically to just see me through and if you know you can't do it and you feel that you need to employ someone or ask someone to help you please kindly do so because it's very 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 important you have to know when you start this business you have to know if this business is making a profit if it's making a loss if it, it's going to help you to determine a lot of things your pricing your overhead so many things so you need to develop your business skills another thing is um, managing people so you need to learn how to manage people that one you can't go and learn from anybody or any school or anything i don't know i don't know i learned it but i kind of like figured out how to manage people in the long run so that is very very important because when you're in a fashion business or when you're in any kind of business whatsoever you need to interact with people you need to relate to people and when you have people that work for you or that are going to be working for you or people that you outsource to even if you don't even if they work directly with you you're going to be outsourcing to people you know you need to have good communication skills you need to know how to um, relate with them in certain ways that you know your goals can be met and your goals can be achieved managing people is very 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 important it's very critical in business it's very critical in life as well so and it's also an ongoing process of learning you know we keep learning every single day so that's another thing again i wish i um, i knew before starting um, a current fashion when you feel you have arrived don't think you have arrived you need to keep on pushing you need to keep on pushing i've had times in my business where you know things went so well so well so good and it's so easy it's really 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 easy for you to say oh yeah i've made it i've hit it this is it and the thing is within a period of time you find out that you're not even in that space anymore and you're wondering to yourself that you know <laughs> what's going on as in <laughs> what's going on you need to keep on pushing basically like I said earlier, life evolves, things happen. Every day, there's one new brand. Every day, there's one new designer. Every day, there's one new stylist. Every day, there's one new thing or the other. So if you think you're it today, if you think you've made it today, there's someone that, that <laughs> is making it a day after. And people are going to shift to that person. So you need to keep, even if you make it today and the heavens open over you today keep on pushing keep on pushing as in that is my that is my um i don't know what to call it but that that's what keeps me going every day i tell myself keep on pushing even when i see people are like oh lady you've done so well Daisy, you've come a long way honestly it's like entering this year and coming out of the next year i don't care as in i don't care i keep pushing keep pushing as in you need to keep pushing because the next best thing for someone or some people is just run the corner and besides if you think you have made it not everybody knows you not everybody is aware of you so you think Literally, you just need to keep on pushing, keep on keeping on, keep on doing it, keep on being disciplined, keep on being who you want to be and keep on being the best version of yourself as much as you can. And if you feel you're the best version of yourself, keep on working at it. So yes, so my video today is done. I hope my video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed my video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so 
and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload a new video. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye!